Come on, start recording. I don't want to start the recording. It says it is. Yes, it just it just came up on my screen. Oh. All right. So what you see on your screen are the four steps that I really want you to follow. And this is the final air skimmer. Okay, so the side view, you've got a fin right here. We've got the main body. And then underneath, we have this air scoop. All right, so that's the overall goal right there. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the blueprint in your Google Classroom. So this is what's called a blueprint. It's something that engineers and architects and designers use because there's no way you can draw a house full scale. All right, scale is just a fancy word for size. Full scale means that the drawings to build the house would be the same size as the house. Most designs are done at what they call one quarter of an inch equals a foot. So they scale it down so that you could take a ruler and every one quarter of an inch on the blueprint would actually be equal to a foot. So this I didn't scale to any specific proportion. What it does have, though, is it has the full size measurements. So these numbers are called dimensions. Okay, or measurements. The arrows tell you where. So from this arrow to this arrow, it's a half an inch. Okay, so that's a half an inch. From this arrow to this arrow, that's a half an inch. From this arrow to this arrow, so that distance right there is three inches. And that's how you read the blueprint. The total distance from this end to the end of the air skimmer body is 11 inches. All right. So you, in, when you're designing this, I would separate it into its individual pieces. So what I like to do is I'm going to fold my blueprint because all I'm concerned about right now is this main body. That's it. Okay, right there. And what you should do is find the whole measurements, the total distance of your object. So my whole body is 11 inches long and four inches wide, all right? And you always start designing something by drawing the entire outline first. So I'm gonna want an 11 inch by four inch rectangle on my piece of paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the blue card stock that's in your folder. So each one of you were given a folder. This piece of blue material should be in there. Okay. We don't use two liter bottles for the water rocket, so I recycle the material. This material works great for the air skimmer, and we don't end up not throwing stuff away. And the other thing I like about it is this blue cardstock is exactly 11 inches long. So the main body is 11 inches long, according to my dimensions. And the entire paper is 11 inches long. That makes it really easy. Now the width, how wide my body is, is four inches. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna use the edge of my paper because the edge of this is already straight. So I'm not gonna draw my own line right here. I'm gonna use this edge of the paper as that line. I need to be four inches. So I'm gonna measure down four inches and put a dot, down four inches and put a dot, and then I'm gonna draw a light line. Okay, so engineers always draw things lightly. So right here, I'm going to take my ruler in inches, and I'm going to go four inches, and I'm going to put a dot. I'm going to come over to this side, and I'm going to go four inches and put a dot. I'm going to take my ruler, line it up with my dots, and I'm going to make just a light line. I'm going to barely put pressure down. Okay. So what I have right here, you can see my line going all the way across, is I have a rectangle that is 4 inches by 11 inches. 
right? And that's what you start with because my main body is 11 inches by four inches. Well, I still have to add three more lines. This line, this line, and this line. So I look at my dimensions, my measurements. This line is a half inch up, okay? So I'm going to come down to this corner and I'm going to measure up a half, up a half, and I'm going to draw a light line. So I come over to here, my bottom line right there. I'm going to measure up a half an inch, eight sixteenths. I'm going to put a mark. I'm going to come over to this side. I'm going to measure up a half an inch or eight sixteenths. And then I'm going to line up my ruler and I'm going to make a very light line across. Okay. So I have my four inches by 11 inches. And then I just measured up a half inch, up a half inch and drew a light line. Okay. Now, when I look at my blueprint, I have another line that has to come down a half an inch, down a half an inch. So I take my ruler and I come from the top of my paper I'm going to measure down a half an inch or eight sixteenths. I'm going to measure down a half an inch or eight sixteenths. And I'm going to make a light line across. So now I've got two of my lines done. Okay. I've got my 11 by four inch rectangle. I've got my line a half inch up and a half inch down. The only other line I need now is this vertical line that's three inches in. So from the edge, right? So this is the edge. From the edge, it's three inches in. So I'm gonna take my ruler. I'm gonna come over to this edge. I'm gonna measure three inches in, put a dot. I'm gonna come down on this three inches in and put a dot. And I'm just gonna darken that in right now. And I'm gonna make it dotted. So I'm going to make a dashed line. Okay. Now, the reason why I made that nice and dark is because I knew that the line went from the inside to the inside. So I drew it dark right away. And it's a dashed line because eventually we're going to fold on it. And that's how simple doing the main body is. Now, once it's done lightly, then I can darken everything in that's permanent. Well, I know this bottom line is permanent. So I'm going to darken that in. So I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to take that bottom four inch line and I'm going to make it nice and dark. Okay. That's all I did. I darkened in that bottom line. My top line is the edge of the paper. Well, you got to be careful because if I look at my blueprint, the line from here to the three inch mark is solid. Then it's dashed the rest of the way. Okay, so I want to make it dark until the dotted line, and then I'm going to dash it the rest of the way. So I come over here. I line up my mark. I'm going to make it dark until I hit that dotted line, and then I'm just going to make dashed lines. Remember what dashed lines mean. Either we're folding it there, or you cannot see it. And then I'm going to do the same up the top. It's dark until it hits that dotted line. So nice and dark, and then it's dashed. And that is the final drawing of the main body. So I started by 11 inches by four inches with a rectangle, nice and light. I put my half inch line in nice and light. I put my half inch line in nice and light. And then I put my three inch line in and I knew where it started and where it stopped. So I did it dark right away, dashed. And then I darkened in everything that's permanent. I don't want to do much more than the main body today. So I'm going to come back to the front.